Okay, guys, back on getting ready to cut the hole, hole in the table. Now, my first transfer table section is 358 millimetres by 358. But the extension is 358 by 353. So that means I need a rectangle of 358 millimetres by 711 millimetres, which I have now drawn the rectangle hole. I've just got to cut it. So by rights, that's how big I've got to cut it. So I'll go ahead and cut it. We'll see what she looks like with a hole in the table. Okay guys, the hole's now cut. I've just got to support this table now. Just so there's no lag in it. So I'll go ahead and do that. Well, that's what she looks like with a hole in the table. Okay guys, now with the transfer table, the, the original base with the wire. I've, I've got to remove the screws from the furthest end of the transfer table. When I remove the screws it will take this backing off and then I will add that to the extension pit later on. So you go to the furthest end from the wire which in this case will be these five screws so I'll go ahead and, and do that Don't forget, I still use these when I put it back on. So save your screws. And it pulls off just like that. Now also, I have a sensor at this far end, which also has to come out it's hot glued in so I've got to take that off and put it up put it at the end of the other extension pit so I'll do that too also guys when I take this sensor plug out there is enough wire tucked in here to actually reach the end of the extension Just thought I'd let you know that. Okay guys, now on the two pits, you have two screws on each end. Now they've got to come out and these joiner plates will go in. So I'll go ahead and do that as well. But before I also do that, I have rail joiners which I've got to put into the rails. So I have to put the rail joiners in, put the metal straps in, and re-screw it. Then we'll see how we go from there. Okay guys, I've got my joiners in now. I've just raised the table up on blocks. So now all I've got to do is put that to the other table so I can put me metal straps on the sides. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, uh, 
the rails are sort of into the rails and then all I push them together. So now I've just got to put these strapped on and when they're sort of nearly there. Okay guys, now that I've got the plates, side plates on, as you can see under here, now I get these gear blocks, which if I put here, then I've got to flip it upside down, and that will align the gears on the track or on the side there. So I'll go ahead and do that. So now I've loosened the plate strap so I can put this cog under the table. So I lift it up, now onto it, and then I push it down and align the uh, the two extension pits together. So now I'll just screw it up and she'll be right. So now that I've tightened them up, these can come out. So that's that part finished. Okay guys, now I've got this U-shape metal plate which will go over the centre of both pits and all I've got to do is screw them with my 4.5mm screws so I'll go ahead and do that okay guys now I'm going to put the end back on screw them back in. Okay guys that's the transfer table all sort of put together. And what I'll do is now is put the wires or stick the wires with sticky tape on the side which I'll show you and put the other sensor in the other end of the transfer table. So I'll go ahead and show you. Okay guys, this is the other sensor I had to take from the first original transfer table. So now I've got to plug this into this hole. So what I'm going to do is plug it in first. And then hot glue it in place. And now all this wire, all I'm going to do is sticky tape it down. So I'll go ahead and do that and it'll be, that part will be finished. Okay guys, all the wires now down. Now also in the hole in the boards, I have to allow for the sensors. So I've got to notch them out like this and the other one where the black mark is. So I'll notch that out and then the table should be able to slide in. Okay, and there's the table in place guys on the table. So all I've got to still do is screw this down, the two sides, 
and give it a test run, I suppose. Okay, guys, just I haven't put the pit in yet, just sitting there. That's what I'd see if, I can, if it would work. So, so far, so good. I've just got to work out how all the programming works. But she's moving. That's one good thing. So I'll keep playing around with it. And hopefully I'll get it going really good. Okay guys, back on the transfer table again. Now there's a few things I have to do to it. If you see I've got no warning light, so I'm going to have to pull it apart and see what's wrong with that. And the whole transfer table needs squaring off, especially being in the shed with the hot weather, I'm going to strengthen the table. Now what I'm going to use I brought these aluminium beams, they're like a, a U-beam, so I'm going to cut them down and put them on the back and screw it to the transfer table. Now I've seen a guy who, whose channel name's Challenge I think it is, or Challenger, he done something similar to that too. But because all my floor could warp, which I use in these bars, it should hopefully stop it. I'll give you a, a run. She seems to run pretty, pretty good too. But I don't want to place the table in the in. The, I'll screw the table, put the tracks on, and then have to take it off and redo it. So at this stage, she sort of runs smoothly. I'm just going to make sure. And I'll be using a one eighth screws or machine screws and with nuts. And that's it. So this will be me, the last one of this part, and then my next part that you'll see. I'll pull the bridge apart, pull the, and get, make sure I can fix this warning flashing light. And then I'll have all the bars underneath all screwed up. So stay tuned for the next part, guys.